impairments for which the children with autism get the diagnosis is because of the social skill impairment. And another reason for which their difficulty of getting integrated into whether a school or a community or for employment space is because of the sensory issues that our children have. Now because of all this, I was very clear that this cannot be addressed within the four walls of a classroom. So if not there, then where? And we took to the space of art because that was something which we all could relate to. While we believe that skill training is an important element of livelihood support, experiences such as these are equally important in enriching the lives of youth on the autism spectrum. The role that theatre is able to play is much beyond what a regular skills training program can offer them. Because psychosocial support, being able to walk in groups, being able to be in a space where there's so many triggers that, that usually it, a kid with autism will break down or feel really, you know, really respond negatively towards. They slowly, actively working on it, but in a safe space, in a space where you have an audience coming to watch you perform. So it really gives you that sense of self worth. I think that's really powerful, and that's what Bubbles is trying to do with with using theatre as a really, really important tool. Uh, generally, the children when they come into any of my productions, I have no expectation that they would already be able to act or have they danced before, sung before, acted before, even spoken before. Um, I never think of that because I believe everybody can do anything they choose to do if they are driven and if they are mentored in the right direction. What is the outcome? Children who are not able to speak will begin to speak. Children who don't have physical abilities or mobility that theatre or dance or movement requires will begin to get that. Children who stand in the centre of a room and they have to be coaxed into doing something or they, they express themselves in a very sometimes aggressive manner or stubborn manner, even rebellious, shouting and screaming at the end of all the training and it may take a couple of years. At a word command, they will be able to get into their character, into their role. And this, I would say, is one of the biggest achievements, especially in the area of autism. Kyle has grown as an actor, and uh, he's the first hero of our place, theatre place. So I'm uh, very happy that he has been doing really well. It's not just improved his uh, abilities to communicate, it has also helped him to become a very confident child. His uh, motors have improved a lot. Earlier he couldn't even sit down. Now he can crawl, he can do stunts, he can climb, he can jump. Uh, that is what has uh, improved him. He's become more flexible. For me the greatest achievement is at the end of the day, I'm putting children that the world labels as autistic. I'm making them function and perform like regular actors, no compromise. I really think that theatre for youth with autism is much more about than just the individual. I think it's also about lobbying or advocating for the fact that performing arts has to be accessible for youth with autism, not just them sitting in an accessible space and receiving or, or consuming art, but also being part of the artist fraternity in their own right. I feel like a lot of theatre training is only geared towards neurotypical individuals and we're not really able to effectively change our approach to work with youth with autism and I think we're missing out on a lot of potential and a great talent there and we're also missing out on just being a more inclusive space um, in the arts industry in India. They need a platform like Chauraya to be able to stand in front of people, to be each one to become a self-advocate for who they are and to break the myths of autism.